They may have nerfed the actual damage, the actual damage boost of um, infusion. Because I know something they did do is they added extra ascension. So you now can, or rather, ascension back to the game. Oh no, you fucking don't! That's my move. You want to hold lightning? No, I'm the one who holds lightning. Is that a fucking Tonatrice? Are you coming at me with my favorite Bloodborne weapon? No, you better give me that fucking weapon, man. I don't care if it doesn't fit my build. Ow! That hurts, though. I want to use that goddamn Tonatrice. Ow. Ow. Don't you fucking throw lightning at me. Give me that weapon. Give me it. Give me the Tonatrus. Fuck yeah. Can I even wield it? Please. Please tell me I can wield it. I can. And it does scale with faith. Oh yeah. Oh, that's an awful heavy attack. And it's got War Cry as its art. However, that's an uncharged R1. What is a charge or uncharged R2? What does a charged one look like? So I guess we're rocking the Ton interest now. I like swords, but <laughs> the breaking wheel too. It's considered a shield now. Oh, and it has the, uh... The ring wheel skeleton weapon art. Fucking dogs. Dog! Dog! So many dogs. I know there's a way to get up here. I think I actually have to go up from the other side and then fall down here or something. Kill all the dogs. Surprise, bitch! I feel like they must have designed this area first, uh, when they were making Dark Souls 3, because it's got a lot of really cool details. That is the exact running attack from actual Bloodborne of the Tonatrice. This slow-ass piece of shit. There we go. Ember. Like, look how there's flowers in this area. There's not flowers anywhere else in the game like this. Uh, oh, this is just the arrow area. I'm looking at it from a different perspective. Interesting, though. Never looked at it like that before. So, there might, there is a way to get up there. I know there is. I have gotten up there, and that's where Pyromancy Dude is. Is there a ladder? This is where, uh, the dark clutch ring, or not the dark clutch, the fire clutch ring is. It must be terrifying to be somebody in this world who is not me. Just lightning. All the time, lightning. Wait a minute. I'm just realizing. I have 8 fucking strength, and I can still wield this? What is it? I do not have 8 strength. What? Oh, I have 8 int. Right. I was about to say, I'm like... I should not have the requirements to use this weapon. I know there is a way up. I will find it. 
I have a very specific lack of skills. Is it around here? This looks like a trap. Yep. Lightning, bitch. It's a Zweihander. So I got to this. But how do I get up? Oh, I know how to get up here. Oh, I have to go way back and drop off the side of this. But there was a bonfire there in uh, the base game. You have to go down here. No poise. No coconut gun. I, I feel like they must have buffed the lock-on range in, for this mod. Because there's no way I was able to do this kind of stuff before. Got a lot of FP I need to regen. Okay, so the bonfire was right here. Yep, here it is. This is probably one of the most easy to miss bonfires in the entire game because this is nowhere near the area you actually go through to beat the boss of this area or uh, go to the next area. What is Tantra scaling? D in strength, E in dex, D in. Faith. Lightning would decrease the strength in decks anyways, so it's really just a faith weapon for me. That's assuming it can be infused, which I'm... I'd be surprised if it couldn't be. It would make it a twinkling titanite weapon, and it doesn't seem to have the raw damage for that. Was there really no enemies up here base? I know there, there, I know there was an item up here. It's no longer here. Huh. I guess everybody's dead. All right, you get the hand axe here. Aha! Welcome. I am Cornix. A crud hip. I hear the head. Ah, most want to read a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. All the pyromancers come for a swamp because racist. But also. He was just in a cage, casually said, yo, what's up, welcome to my crib, and then just left, like he had no reason to be here. Later he shows up at, at uh, Firelink, so it follows that he could have just left at any time and chose not to. Like that's how much of a baller Cornix is. He can leave... <laughs> He can leave any time he wants to, and just doesn't want to. Really? There we go. What is it? It's the Partisan. Honestly, one of the best spears. But nobody uses spears in this game. Ow. So let's go check out the suburbs. Wait a minute, isn't this the exit to the uh, rat area? I never considered it, but yeah, I guess I could just uh, go from the rat area to here. Or from here to the rat area, up to do the... get the faith bros. Instead of just buying the key. I buy the key because I'm lazy. Enemies are really good at tracking to be under your feet so you can't throw stuff at them anymore. I mean, I guess if I had some rope fire bombs, you'd be screwed, but... Where's the time? Wait, 
This was the pass to the next area? My mapping of this area is so messed up. Dog, dog, dog. Wow, the Tantras takes like no stamina to swing. I know that because I have like no stamina. I always found it so ironic when you pick up an item and it's just alluring skulls and it was obviously a trap. Because they did their job. They draw they drew you next to them. Kinda breaks the illusion that you're smarter than all the NPCs. Wait, what? This is where he was? I don't think this was where he was. Hmm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? Yeah. Are all you faceless undead. Behaving. No matter if you've any sense, you here. If like the others, then go on ahead. You'll face enough. <laughs> I could have sworn this if guy was only here on. after uh, <laughs> the blind chick goes. Wait, no. He doesn't let me in. I think I have to kill him to you free like her. <laughs> ah, which is a lost cause. After I brought her all this, which is beyond. <laughs> I just have to talk to him more. The woman's a lost, couldn't even. She's beyond. <laughs> Remember when I could uh, came here trying to invade somebody, and now I'm just playing through the area like I was gonna anyways. The woman's a couldn't even. She's beyond. <laughs> Do I really just have to kill this guy? What's my charge R2 look like? Okay. I guess I just have to kill this guy, and I don't not. I don't like my chances. Damn fool. Lost it, have you? Then I'll take care of you. As many times as it takes. Ah! Ah! Shit. Okay, uh, that must be modded. I don't think that, uh, he interacted with... ...enemies before. Thankfully, he doesn't have any healing spells, at least. I've been leaving up this this dude in the hopes that I could get him to help me. I hear another one. There's another one. Wow, that didn't hit. Ow, ow, right. My power attack takes forever to work now. Oof. Yep, that's the morn I remember. Ow. Okay, that wasn't actually that much damage compared to Morn. Or, uh, he's not Morn. His, his weapon is called the Morn Hammer. That's what I'm thinking. Ow. Maybe his shield? I don't remember. Ow. Yeah, my, my power attack does nothing. Let's bait him into an attack. Chug a bit. Sunny D. No! He's got the mix-ups! Yeah, I don't do a lot of damage. He's probably got really good uh, lightning resist on his weapon, or on his armor, because he's, you know, faith-based. God, hammers suck in this game. Ham what am I talking about? Hammers have always sucked. Maybe if I war cry. This guy's playing me. <laughs> He's playing a good game. I'm really only getting damage off of my spells. <laughs> oh, come on. That hit me, but it didn't break poise for some reason. No! Is this like a, he's actually going to force me to use all my Astus. This is the, probably the first true challenge in a Dark Souls fashion I've fought so far. But the resistance on that preservation to elemental damage does not seem good. Yeah, 
Yeah, Morn's great hammer. Oopsies. I dearly, dearly hope that that didn't fuck me out of this character. She sells miracles. I kind of need that. I don't think there's another NPC who can sell the miracles she sells. Uh, I may have fucked up. Wait, she's blind. No, 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 we're fine. She doesn't know. Is this not considered water? It is. I guess it just doesn't spread if you hit the enemy you're looking at not anymore. Come on, where's the giant rat who makes all the rules? There he is. I never considered uh, rats as resistant to lightning, but... You idiot, I'm wearing robes. For some reason, robes are the biggest resistance to bleed. Or poison, at least. That's what I get to upgrade. Uh, what are those given stats? FP res restoration of the Ash and Essence Blast. But man, is it styling. So maybe I'm just completely misremembering this area and I always have to go this way. And I have no idea what I'm talking about because this is not a particularly memorable segment. Especially if you're not using a faith build. Make a covenant here. No. Blaine cloth. Oh, you can get the Velka Rapier now. I wonder if that's considered a dark weapon. The white phantom scared me. I thought somebody was brushing into me. Now, where's that rapier? Oh, I didn't realize Morton's Great Hammer scales faith with physical damage. Weapons that scale uh, physical damage off of magic are usually really good. Where is that Velcro Raper? There it is. I need a lot of int intin decks. Yes, stance, and no, it's just like the Baldur side sword, but way harder to use. Skellies. I really like that that halberd is a normal. Ha are they? They don't respond now. They don't get up. But I really like that uh, that halberd is just a normal halberd, but they switched out the weapon art. In the original game, it kind of sets up this uh, grand idea that you're going to end up uh, with a whole lot of weapons, with uh, the only main variance in them being weapon art. So you kind of kind of pick whatever weapon style you like and have a variety of weapon arts with them. But then that's the only one in the game that actually does that. No, I hope so. Nobody comes up from behind me. It's Dark Souls, nothing is ever dead. Also, these uh, skeletons completely unique. Nowhere else in the game does the skeleton with roots in it appear. Well, maybe they do because uh, mod, but base game they did not. This is the only place they showed up. Fucking dogs. they even get down here. So many dogs! How'd they find me? I knew they'd find me. I thank god he has half health. I can probably just kill him from here. Yeah. And that is where you now get the Irithal straight sword. Which might be a lot better now because there's actually some more spells to uh, give frostbite. And an Estus shard, huh? Is this a mimic? 
I cannot see the chain. But normal chests aren't affected by attacks in this game. Okay. Cursed scroll. That's probably some kind of dark magic. I kind of like the Dark Souls 1 approach where uh, the dark ma uh, magics were affected by whatever stat you were using for your main magic instead of being affected by both your uh, stats. Crypt Ring. Isn't that the ring you had in Dark Souls 1 you had to put on to uh, like actually go into the Crypt Keeper's Covenant? Or whatever it was. Okay, this is Rat Hell. This is the area from Dark Souls 1, officially known as Rat Hell. So let's just get the fuck out. Come on, I know you want this. Oh, there's just... There's no way there's just infinite rats in this area, and no other area has respawning enemies. Saints tells me. That is a catalyst. What is its spell buff? Not enough. Not enough. 